Hey guys, this is Alex with Big Money Theory. If you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today I would like to talk to you about Bargated Technology Acquisition Corp, ticker BTAQ. It is a SPAC that is rumored to be merging with technology companies sometimes within next couple of weeks, possibly an EV company. BTAQ is a SPAC, so downside is pretty limited. You can always call the broker and if you don't like who they merged with, you can take back your $10 but the upside is unlimited. So if they merge with a really nice company and uh, the stock market is happy about it, the price of the stock can go up to the sky. It is rumored that BTAQ gonna be merging with Free Automotive, which is next generation EV platform. What's unique about this new platform is that their entire drive unit is installed inside the tires. So you have completely modular configuration. You have complete freedom of body design highest load capacity possible and even more spaces for the battery and what's even better the minimal downtime so it only takes 20 minutes to pretty much take off the tire and put the new system in there is another rumor out there that the deal for re-automotive merging with someone is going to be done sometimes this week possibly tomorrow january 21st i think that btaq is the company they might be merging with so let me show you some information that I think supports that theory. If we go to the NASDAQ and we look at the key data, you can see that average volume is 300,000 stocks trading per day. But that's a few days old. If we hop onto the Yahoo Finance, now we can see average volume of 500,000 stocks per day. But even that information is old. If we jump into the five days average, we can see that our volume of trading is anywhere from, let's say, 20,000 to all the way down to. 10, 15,000 stocks per every 15 minutes or so. But as soon as we get to the last moments of the day, of trading day on January 20th, we can see that the volume went all the way up to 300,000 stocks traded within 15 minutes, and then another 700,000 stocks, and another 300,000 and 200,000. So that is unusually high amount of tradings for this stock. And if we hop in into the aftermarket, we can see that the stock was still moving and went up another 5%. Now, if we hop in into the re-automotive SPAC merger information, we can see that they want to merge with the company and likely to be extended until January 2021. So pretty much we have one piece of information saying that re-automotive wants to be merged sometimes in January 2021. And it's already January 20th, so pretty close to the end of January. Another thing we have is a bargain in technology acquisition corp that wants to merge with somebody within next few days, maybe few weeks, and they're looking to merge with the EV production company. So that one plus one gives me an idea, a thinking, a theory that BTAQ is going to be merging with Free Automotive. If that is to happen, I think the stock price is going to go maybe 15, 20, maybe even $30 per stock. Another interesting piece of information for you is that Citadel Securities purchased 1.8 million stocks of BTAQ. Maybe, just maybe, they know something that we don't know. I've never seen them doing anything like that and going that deep into the SPAC space with one company. So, in my opinion, there is going to be a bright future for BTAQ and I will possibly be adding some stocks to my portfolio tomorrow. This is it for me, guys. If you like what you heard, leave a comment, drop a like, maybe consider subscribing so you never miss another episode. Thank you so much and have a great day.